Hey everyone. Hi, what's up? My name's Alicia Leadham. I'm a wellness coach, I'm a yoga teacher, and I'm the CEO of my wellness coaching practice, Alicia's Appetite. And you can find me at aliciasappetite.com. Thanks for joining me. I'm here every day on Periscope at 1.08 p.m. Eastern, usually a few minutes after. <laughs> That's all right, I show up, right? So what's up? Um, I hope you're having a really great Thursday. Hey, Susan. And yeah, so I'm feeling really inspired to bring you this message today. Hey there, Susan. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the deal. So, yeah, thanks for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here's the deal. This morning, oh no, the dog is starting. Ignore him. Every, t every time. Okay, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. And if everyone else could share, that'd be cool too. Swipe left, right, share, whatever. Okay, so this morning I went out on a really long hike. If you follow my work, um, you'll know that I'm like a huge uh, advocate of getting into nature, really soaking in the healing benefits that it offers to you, and learning lessons from nature and the seasons, okay? And, and I promise you that this isn't totally woo-woo. Um, I promise. So right now, as you know, or if you're in the States, we are in the season of fall, okay? This is currently autumn, the favorite time of the year for a lot of people. Give me hearts if this is your favorite season of the year because I feel like this is kind of across the board. Everyone just loves fall. Yeah, I love it. Okay, cool. Me too. I just, it's just awesome. I love the food and the pumpkins and the weather is like perfect. Like it's just so nice. Hey J O, is that how you say it? Joe. Anyway, um, yeah. So I was out hiking this morning and like I, I try to a few times a week, and I was looking around at all the trees and noticed how all the leaves are falling off and how graceful the leaves were just falling, right? And so there's all these leaves that are on the ground, and yet the trees are still standing there, very strong, very powerful, like it just didn't phase them. So it has me thinking about how we can really take this lesson of trees and just nature, right? The seasons and apply this to ourselves. So as we know, like fall is just this reminder for us to slow down, slow down, come back into like full circle. We're at the end of like the harvest season, right? For bringing all of our, our nourishment and our food. And um, it's such a great reminder that we just need to let things go that aren't serving us anymore. And the trees show us how to do it. They really do. Like they're so grounded and rooted, right? So their roots are, they're there, right? They're there. They're in the ground. They're not moving. Yet they know that when it's time for the leaf to drop and go, it's gone. They just let it go. And it's super, super graceful. So how can you take that in your own life? right? What are you holding on to that is like dead that you need to release and let go of, right? Think about that and maybe take a walk in the woods and take a hike and really like take a hike <laughs> and just look around at the trees and be like, you know what? I'm, I need to release this. I'm going to release this. And a big part of that is when we do let the leaves go, that's almost like facing your fear of the future because it leaves you naked when you're not holding on to them anymore, just like the trees, right? So they're like releasing all of their leaves and they're eventually going to be naked. They're not going to have any leaves for like the dead of winter. It's like cool, cold, no light, <laughs> very little light. And it's scary. Like what if it doesn't come back again? So this is really important for us to take in like, okay, I know that I'm releasing this. I don't know what the future holds, but that's okay. I need to trust that it's okay and um, and by releasing this leaf, I'm so grounded and rooted in myself and know who I am as a person that I'm ready to face this fear of that. Does that make sense? Yeah, cool. So that's that's my message today. Like, Ask yourself what you're holding on to. Ask yourself what you need to release, what's no longer serving you. Maybe it's a job, maybe it's relationships. 
you know, maybe it's a way of eating or just some habits that aren't serving you anymore that you need to release or negative thinking about yourself. Whatever that is, let that shit go and let the trees inspire you, okay? And face your fears. So by letting it go, you are facing your fears. Be brave. Be brave like the trees because they're going to have to be out there in the dead of winter for a really long time. But they trust that spring will come. They trust that the new beginning is there, right? So it's like the cycle of life and trusting in life, trusting in the process of it, just like the seasons do. It always changes, but it always comes back. Right? It always comes back in full circle. We'll always be born again. So, yeah, that's what I have. Oh, another example of this is, you know, maybe you just need to let go of a season of your life. So, for me, when I graduated college a really long time ago, <laughs> um, I had a really hard time letting that shit go. Like, I was crying the day that I graduated because I did not want to graduate. I was not ready to stop partying because I was a big partier in college. I was not ready to go. I, I just wasn't ready for the change. And I held on to it forever. I moved to a new town where I didn't really know anyone except my fiance at the time, now husband. And um, I remember <laughs> just talking to everyone about how great my college town was and how great college was. And that holding on to like what isn't there anymore, but holding on to it like so tightly it blocked me from really being able to live fully in that moment. And it wasn't until that I like, I remember the moment where I was like, okay, I'm not in college anymore. I need to let it go. It's over. And I'm grateful for it that it happened. And I'm so glad it happened, but I can't hold on to it and wish that it was still here because that's taken me out of my life right now. You know? Um, this has happened in many other other times of my life too, but I just challenge you like if you're wondering what it is you're holding on to, it could be a, you know your own season of life or just a change that you don't want to accept like it has changed, but you don't want to accept that it's there. you know So that's something that you can just let that shit go, right? Be like the tree and let it go. Find your roots, really ground yourself and release what's no longer serving you. So I hope that this inspired you. Let's round out with another round of hearts. If you liked anything that I had to say, I'd really appreciate it if you could just tap the screen. And again, I'm here every day, so follow me. I inspire you with lots of different messages um, and inspiration, motivation to help you just live a life that's more fulfilling for you from the inside out, right? Um, I do this with yoga, meditation, Reiki, all this stuff. This is why I get on every day. You are so inspiring. Oh, thanks, Tammy. I'm so glad. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. Um, if you like this, this little talk we just had, awesome. Um, you can sign up for a free video series challenge that I have on my website, aliciasappetite.com. It's a free wellness challenge. Go take it. And if you want to be around more like-minded people like this, where we can talk about this, little thing, little, little um, uh, topic or life, come join our Facebook group. It's called the Wellness Connection Tribe. I'd love to have you. And yeah, join us. I'll let you in. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace and love. Be like the trees and let go. <laughs> go be a tree hugger. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day.